An Afghan law which legalized rape has been sent back to parliament with a clause letting husbands starve their wives if they refuse to have sex. President Hamid Karzai ordered a review of the legislation after British newspaper The Independent revealed that it negated the need for consent within marriage. President Barack Obama described it as abhorrent. Britain's Prime Minister Gordon Brown said Britain would not tolerate it and other NATO countries threatened to withdraw their troops unless the legislation was drastically rewritten. According to his civil society groups, the law, which regulates the personal affairs of Afghanistan's minority Shia community, still includes clauses which allow rapists to marry their victims as a way of absolving their crime, and it tacitly approves child marriage. The law sparked riots in Kabul. Hundreds of Shia women took to the streets in protest. They were attacked by mobs of angry men who launched counter-demonstrations outside the capital's largest Shia madrasa. It's due to be ratified by Parliament, which first passed the legislation in March with hardly any debate. Razia Jan, who is building a women's community center in Afghani- Afghanistan's Shia heartland, Bamiyan, said, quote, Violence against women is already endemic. Men pay thousands of dollars for young girls, and they are treated like slaves. Women here are already so vulnerable.